the sweetest boy. Well, the truth is I've done 4,561 shows, and probably in all of those years of shows that we actually counted, and the years before that, I've developed relationships with maybe three people in all those years, maintained a relationship. Uh, Maddie would be the single biggest relationship that ever developed out of a show. So you've been writing poetry since you were how old? About three. And so you started calling it Heart Songs because what? It was the song in my heart. It was the message in my heart. A heart song doesn't have to be a song in your heart, even talking about love and peace. It can just be your message. It can be your f feelings. Some people might even call it a conscience, mm -hmm. even though that's not really what it is. It's your message, what you feel you need to do. And everybody I didn't know what a strong force he would be as a friend, as a spiritual conduit for me in my life. But I, I, I knew that he, what he had was real. I was glad that I'd said yes to it because I'd been asked several times about this little boy who wanted to get his poetry on the Oprah show. But people... I was resistant to it at first. And uh, when I saw him and met him, my heart melted. Our heart songs don't need to be the same because everybody no. has different ones. Yes, and that's the beauty. We are a mosaic of gifts, and each of us has our inner beauty, no matter how we look. I mean, you're very beautiful, I know, but it's our inner beauty. <laughs> The thing that was so extraordinary to me about Maddie, and I think the thing that other people connected to, is that he had the child's spirit and heart and the energy of, of youthfulness and inquisitiveness and excitement and wonder about life. This was your first time flying, coming here too, right? Yes, it was. And what was that like for you? It was amazing for me. I mean, even especially when we had to go through this huge cloud. Uh -huh. We would, I saw a cloud coming, and I figured they would just go around it. Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm surrounded by white stuff, and I felt like I was in this fluffy marshmallow. In this fluffy marshmallow. That's it. He was a child, but I quickly began to understand he was a, he was a, he was a big soul in a little boy's body.